Hello again everybody, this is Ryan with Escotech, and in this video we're taking a look at the power usage of our Dell Optiplex 990 with our NVIDIA 960 upgrade that still has a stock 265 watt power supply. We've got the PC only, no accessories or peripherals, hooked up to a basic kilowatt meter, and we're going to boot up and run some quick tests to take a look at the power usage. The full specs of this system are an i5-2400, 8GB of RAM, a GTX 960, 250GB Crucial BX100 SSD, and a single DVD burner. Most people would say there's no way this system would run on a 265 watt power supply, but this demonstration should open some eyes. Okay, so we've completed a cold boot from zeros on the kilowatt meter, and the system will idle in the mid to upper 20s. Remember that this power supply is 80 plus gold rated and has a 265 watt continuous output. We're measuring the input wattage, so the theoretical max input would be 300 watts before any electricity is lost to heat. We're doing a quick run of Unigen Valley to simulate a gaming scenario. And as you can see, we're in the 150 to 160 range, which is about half the power supply's rated output, and therefore right in its optimal efficiency range. 80 plus gold units have to be at least 92% efficient at 50% load. This efficiency is thanks to NVIDIA's Maxwell architecture, which has made huge gains in power to performance ratios. This power supply wouldn't be able to run a card from even a generation ago, but handles this one easily. Next, we'll take a look at OCCT's power supply test. This pulls the maximum wattage from PC and is one of the best stress tests available today. You can see that it's starting out in the 180 watt range, and it'll max out at about 230 input watts on our meter. That puts our system at full load running at about 76% of our power supply's maximum output. We've done a 12 hour burn in and these values are pretty consistent throughout the whole test. The total wattage isn't the whole story from the power supply. You would be correct to wonder about the amperage on the 12 volt rail. Dell stock power supply is rated to output 240 watts on the 12 volt rail. So if we do the math, that tells us that's 20 amps on the 12 volt rail. That's exactly what NVIDIA recommends for this video card, and we can be sure that our system is below this, especially when you consider that even with the 5 and 3.3 volt rails, we're still under 20 amps total load for the system. These two tests show a quick proof that you can safely run a 960 and an i5 on a stock Dell power supply, which was surprising since we thought the 750Ti would be the fastest card you could run in this system. The entire point of this test was to get PC builders to think about their power supply selection a little more. Most builders overshoot the wattage of their power supply to play it safe or to plan for future upgrades. We think that this is a very common mistake. We're not saying to buy a 265 watt power supply from Dell, but to think about the money you can reallocate to another part of your system. The current dif difference between a good quality 500 watt power supply and an 850 watt version of the same brand is about $50. That money would be better served to go to a better CPU or a graphics card. When it comes to future upgrades, we'd recommend buying a new one every few years rather than hanging on to a power supply that's seen a few years of use. Until next time, thanks again for watching.